And quickly before we get into this video, I'd like to give a shout out to Ahead for sponsoring this video. If you guys want to pick up cheap and reliable Rocket League items on one of the most trusted sites on the internet, make sure you actually check them out. First link in the description, you can buy and sell your Rocket League items and use code Zenica at checkout for 3% off your orders. Do you guys want to be in with the chance of winning this Trigon Mystery Decal on my car right now or £20 worth of V-Bucks to spend whatever you want on Fortnite? All you've got to do is subscribe to me and Leighton, link in the description, leave a like on the video and comment your details down below. That is it. The winner will be announced in the next channel update. And as you guys can see on screen right now, look at the profit we just made just because we have the BMD priority. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel now today. I'm bringing another Rocket League video and in today's video we have got episode 4 of the brand new series going from nothing all the way up to the titanium white octane. So if you guys are unaware of what this series is, basically I'm going from one PCC crate and bring myself all the way up to the titanium white octane. But if this is your first episode ever seeing this series, make sure to click the link in the description. It'll pretty much take you down to a place where you can watch every single other episode so you can see where I've come from. And if you guys do want to see more of this nothing something series on the channel, make sure to smash that like button right now. Let's try and aim for 300 likes and I'll bring a brand new episode in just a couple of days time and if you guys have not already make sure to smash that subscribe button right now and turn on those post notifications so you can keep up to date with every single brand new video upload to the channel and without further ado let's get straight into this nothing surfing episode i hope you guys enjoy so the very first trade of this whole episode basically me just selling my stormwatch and my hellfire and getting myself a 28 sex because thinking about it for the stormwatch you can probably get yourself a slipstream i don't even know probably around a slipstream maybe two hex if you're lucky and then the hellfire every single gold explosion has dropped loads i would suggest for you guys Never to get a gold explosion unless you're actually getting it for an incredibly good deal or selling something that's hard to sell. But pretty much I just did these two because thinking about it, it's a slipstream and a tour max I'm paying. I'm getting myself a 20xx out of it, which I'll eventually sell for a bit of profit. And then literally immediately after I've list my 20xx, I find a guy that has a bio and he has a slipstream and he wants to buy my 20xx off me, which I completely find doing. The slipstream is also turtle certified, but obviously turtle means absolutely nothing unless you find a guy that's collecting a turtle set which I highly doubt you guys will, uh, this is literally worth nothing, it doesn't add that much at all, and just getting myself a slipstream and a bio is even on the spreadsheet, but I can see people picking it up for slipstream and Torah, so eventually if I want to buy one back, I'll just do that exact same thing. I then have some other stuff in my inventory that I really just don't want and I want to get rid of, like such as anodides, people will want that and it's probably worth one or two PCCs, but I really don't care about it, I just want it gone and get myself better BMDs, so I pretty much did myself a biomass, um, an anodides and a triumph crate and got myself a hex and a nitro, which is pretty even, I would say, but Hex at the moment, they're, I don't even know what they're doing because I can eventually get two Taurus out of them or I can get Bio and other eyes, probably a little bit more. I'm not too sure, but even so, that's probably around an even trade. I then found a guy that was interested in selling his 20xx to me and I was trying to do two Hex and a load of different ads that you can see on screen right now. They're not the best of ads and he knew that himself and he wanted to sort out a different offer. So I pretty much put up all of the stuff I had. He was interested in the BMDs. So I added one Triumph Crate and he put in a Parallax a 20xx, 3 nitros, and 2 non-crate very rare, so pretty much around maybe 3, 4 PCCs, which is nearly a Torah anyway, and all the BMDs add up evenly, so pretty much I'm getting all of those different ads that he's put as a little bit of profit. And then after an extremely long amount of time, I find a guy that wants to buy my Crimson Sunburst. I had a load of different offers on them, but obviously they were all low balls, and then eventually I found a guy, he started offering 10 to start with, and then I said add a little bit, and he actually said 15, so straight away I thought, why not just do it? I know Victory Crate's have dropped a lot and I don't really care about that because these sunbursts were incredibly hard to sell. They're not even exhausted either. I had people ask me if they were exhausted and they said no to the uncommon version. So even so, I'm just getting myself a load of crates and eventually I made myself a lot of profit. And then I come across a guy that wants to sell his painted exotics and he said, oh, just invite me to a game and I'll see what he got. So I put up all my BMDs which was a 20XX and a Parallax. He asked for the 20XX for the white equalizers and the crimson zombies which is still an alright deal but then I thought, nah, they're really hard to sell. So I offered him a Parallax and he actually did tick up with the white equalizers and the crimson zombies. The zombies as well were from the CC4 series. So eventually I'll get myself a lab or something out of them. I'm not too sure. And the equalizer is very hard to sell. But easily one of the best trades I've done in this series. I then find a very basic trade which was just me getting more non-crate very rare. So as you know, you guys just know how much profit I make off these. I eventually found a guy that wanted two nitros for every single one. And I know in my head I can at least get one PCC out of probably a little bit of ads. So if I just wait long enough, eventually I'll get myself two PCCs out of it and maybe a little bit of ads, I'm not too sure. And obviously, Tora is probably now four to five PCCs, which is absolutely ridiculous. He's going for about 30 with trusted minimum and stuff like that. So it's absolutely incredible how much these have gone up. I then invited the same guy straight back to trade to see what else he had and he actually put up an orange data stream and I know in my head, eventually I'll get myself a PCC out of it. So 
thinking about it, I can offer him a triumph grade. I don't even want to do a nitro because they're incredibly hard to sell. And the guy that actually buys it is sometimes not online at the right moment. So eventually I'll get myself a PCC. It just might take a little bit of time. So I thought, why not get rid of a triumph crate? The triumph crate's already dropping quite a lot. And it's worth a round of nitro. I don't really care about it that much. So still, that's a positive trade. And then after a little bit of time, I find a guy that wants to buy my white equalizer. And he has some black dices that he's trying to sell. And I was completely fine with doing that because the market at the moment... The demand for the black wheels, the black uncommon wheels is absolutely incredible. So I know I'll eventually get myself a very good deal for these. The white equalizers, probably a slipstream at max. And then these black dice is around a 20xx at mid. Like, they're ridiculous at the moment. Everyone wants them. All of, all of the professional players are using it with anodizing and stuff like that. So even so, that's a very positive trade. And then eventually, I find a guy that wants to do a 20xx. After a little bit of searching, I find a guy that has a 20xx and he wants any of the black dice. Obviously, I'm, I wouldn't even go close to doing exotics for it. So I just did the uncommon ones because I've seen a lot of people wanting Slipstream and Stormwatch for theirs. So eventually, if I do want to buy it back, I probably will do it and then obviously reset it for another 20xx. But it's the going rate at the moment and getting myself a load of BMDs is probably the best thing. Because like you saw earlier, getting BMDs is probably the best way you can profit by getting a load of different overpays. So that is the final trade I've got for this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy it. We actually made an incredible amount of profit. And the White Octane is probably going to be closer than you guys think. And we are incredibly close to getting 16,000 subscribers. So if you have not already, make sure to smash that subscribe button and join the notification squad. And I'll actually be high in every single comment I see on this video that says hashtag notification squad. If you guys are very early, I'll be hot in every single one of you. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to smash that like button right now. 300 likes and I'll bring a brand new episode in just a couple of days time. Subscribe and turn on those post notifications if you guys are new and I'll see you guys next time. Let you go.